we take a look at it, Dad, just for a second, so I see where I'm at? Ah, uh, ah. Yeah, I see. I don't. I don't see any change really. I think. Well, you're looking at. I'm gonna clear the cereal out of there. Oh, okay. Or does hurt though? Eventually, it's a good idea to remove your wisdom teeth anyway. But when they're impacted, it becomes a, a medical emergency. Hmm. They're just like time bombs in your mouth. Hey, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Dad, that's a good line. Yeah. You should give that to Dr. Zilber. I don't write for other doctors. But I picture him saying stuff like that. He is a, an alarmist. Yeah, well, their whole business, unlike my business, thrives on a certain sense of urgency. Mm. The first thing you learn in dental school is the expression, oh, my God. Yeah, he says that a lot. Yeah. You know when I open my mouth and he touches the first tooth and he just goes, mm, mm. That's right. Uh, Dad, I'm terrified. I mean, what kind of primitive procedure is this? They cut into your... Dude, I'm just leave it in there, right? It will get better. You know, I'm just saying the body takes care of itself. <sighs> Plus, Zilber is in no position to take care of my body right now. Yeah. I'm quite sure he is in the kind of shape he was 10 years ago. You're not going to fight the guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have struggled with him in the past. <laughs> Sometimes when he takes out the, the sharpest instrument, that one with a huge hook, mm -hmm. I fight him. I mean, I'll hold his arm. That's just a reflex, Ben. Then the nurse gets in on it. And uh, that is one sexy romp. Hey, Laura, I wonder if you can check my schedule, um, because it's possible I might need to take some time off the nurse, Ben. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. No, he's getting his wisdom teeth out, and I want to be there for him. Oh. oh. You know, and... Um, it's it's you're kind of take time off from work. What are you gonna do for him? I mean, just having teeth pulled. He's gonna need some extra pampering, and I'd like to be there for him. So I just I just was trying to um, rebook some patients if I could. Um, I don't think so. You know, I had my wisdom teeth out, and it's really not a big deal. Well, you know, different people react differently. So. Well, you know, if you encourage Ben to react like a big baby, then I, my guess is he will. Um. Did you ever have your wisdom teeth out? When I had my wisdom teeth out, yeah, it cost something like $185. This wow. is 30 years ago. And the guy said, for another 10 bucks, I'll shave you back. That's a good deal. I had to go for it. Excuse me. Yes? Yeah, I'm Paul F. Tompkins. I have an appointment with uh, Dr. Katz. Oh, uh, you're actually a little bit late, but I need you to fill out these forms before I can get you in there. Okay, so has my session technically started? Well, technically, the session started at 2 o'clock. But it seems to be 2 o'clock now. Um, yeah. What, what does that mean? It means that your session started at 2 o'clock. Well, how come I'm not in it? Are you part of it? No. It, it sort of started without you. My session started without me, so then I say, but without me, the session cannot start. Well, a session can actually exist without the patient. But does the patient exist without the session? Well, the patient exists independently of the session. I think the session cannot exist without the patient. Well, the session only needs the doctor to exist. Ah, but the doctor and the patient need the session. No, the session needs the doctor, but not the patient. Only the doctor can have a session with a patient. Hi, hey, Paul, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, hi. Hello. You are the doctor. Right. I am the patient. So far, this is the session. Have you been in therapy before? No. I mean, there was a time I would say I wouldn't go on a bet. And then guess what? Somebody bet me. Now here I am. So wait, what you're saying is that someone actually bet you? Right. My fee is $180 an hour. Really? So is this a wash for you? Are you going to break even after you've paid my fee? Oh, yeah. Huh. You're not in, uh, in show business. No, I'm not. But you should get into it, because let me tell you something. The money is obscene. It is great. Here's how rich I am. Sometimes I'll go to the Gap. Mm -hmm. I'll just buy, like, four shirts at a clip. Not even think about it. Right. And people say, whoa, those shirts cost a lot of money. Oh, yeah, they do. They cost a lot of money that I have. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're doing well, but let's talk a little bit about your background, if we could. I'm Irish. Mm -hmm. Growing up, I had to hear stories of the terrible, horrible... Irish potato famine of the 18-somethings. Uh, uh, right. Millions of people died. Millions! Mm -hmm. Why? Because there were no potatoes. Mm -hmm. Are these the pickiest people in the world? Well. Oh, I'm dying. If only I had a potato. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Please make it rain potatoes. 
Why don't you, uh, why don't you try some corn? I don't like corn. Are you sure? You probably never even tried it. Oh, yes, I did. Remember at that wedding they had corn that time? I tried it. Don't care for it. Don't really like it. Well, you gotta do something. You eat some corn. Come on. I have a problem with textures. You know, some things feel weird in my mouth, and corn's just kind of icky and gross. I don't like it. Well, all right, just go ahead and starve to death. Uh, yeah, that's what I was doing before you had to interview me for your book about corn. Hey, Ben. Dad? How are you feeling, by the way? Uh... You sound... What are you doing? What's that? What are you doing? Just wiping up. You know... But I'm making a list of things for your care package for your post-op. That's nice of you, but, you know, you don't have to do that. Well, I, I think that you're going to need some extra caring when you come out of this procedure. Well, and you know what? I don't want to jinx it. This is not jinxing it. I think you just might appreciate a few things. Well, what are you putting in it? Because I wouldn't mind final approval on stuff. Yeah. That's just that when you buy gifts, they're not good. This is why I'm calling you. I want your input on this. Let me. Can I tell you what I've got for you so far? Mm-hmm. I have um, tapioca pudding, yeah. some magazines. I also rented Carousel, the musical. Let me go over some of the stuff. That's all great, Dad. Yeah. And stuff that I won't eat or use. Oh, I forgot about the new law that they imposed where sons are allowed to say thank you to a father for doing a nice thing. I did say thank you. But you're all wrong. I actually would like to put together things that would make you feel comfortable because you're, you're liable to be very uncomfortable for a few hours, you know. Yeah. I got a whole bunch of tapes when animals attack. Oh, I like that stuff. You know, because I sat through four hours of when animals think about attacking. Not so good. I should make a video when Dr. Zilber attacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because he's going to be going at my mouth. What about when animals attack Dr. Zilber? <laughs> I would love that. So, the whole issue of food in your home is complicated. I grew up in a household with incredibly distorted images of bodies, and, right. and my mother had a terrible eating disorder, and every time I would eat, she'd say, oh, don't be like mommy! Yeah. And it was just always really awful. Even now, she will show me pictures of myself when I was five years old and say, oh, you used to be so skinny when you were five. Hmm. You know, my, my mother, um, she never had much, and she always, you know, let me know it right. when I was growing up. You know, she loved fashion, too, and, and she made my prom dress. And the whole time, she just complained while she was making it. Huh. You know, mommy didn't have prom. They don't have prom in Korea. Only war. Dr. Katz's office. Laura! Hi. How are you, Laura? <sighs> no, Lord, it's me. It's Ben. Oh, Ben. I was doing a thing where I had no teeth because I'm going to the, you know, get my wisdom teeth out. Where are you? I'm under the couch. Um, it's not everybody who gets their wisdom teeth out. <laughs> no, just probably pretty much everybody. Yeah, but not everybody waits this long to get them out. Most people do it in their teens. Right. When there's no meaning in it. Mm-hmm. Me, I'm a little different, Laura. I held out till the last possible moment. That's called courage. Huh. Did you get your wisdom teeth out? I'm sure you did. Yeah. How old were you? Um, 17. <laughs> Typical. But I only had one, though. Well, the doctor says I only have one that needs to be taken out, but he's going to take out all four. No, but I only had one. What do you mean you only had, you had one? Only one in my head. Really? Yeah. You had one wisdom tooth. Just one. But everybody has four. No, everybody doesn't have four. I had one. That's like a freak. No, it's not. It's actually, they. what they told me was that it means I'm that I'm more highly evolved. Oh, man, that is not true. Because wisdom teeth are unnecessary, and eventually everybody will have none. That's like going up to a humpback and saying, you're more highly evolved than everybody with that hump. I rejected drugs mainly because I didn't want to talk to my dealer anymore because I think buying drugs is really annoying. Mm. You know, because when you buy drugs, you have to feign this relationship with your dealer. Right. Like you're not really going to him to buy drugs. You know, you're going for a social visit and drugs are this surprise that just happens when you get there. Mm -hmm. And he's talking to you and you're trying to be interested like, oh, that's great. That's really interesting. But inside, you're just, just give me the drugs. You know, like, I hate you. I hate you. Your house smells like cat pee. Why don't you clean Clean the water in your fish tank. Whoa. What's the matter? You're getting all these? I do everything big, Todd. Yeah. I don't do anything small. Man, you 
can't wipe out a whole section. I mean, I, I guess you can, but no one's ever done it before. Who's going to rent these anyway? Like, no one now. Well, this is kind of a special occasion. What's going on here? This is. I got to um, stock up on movies because I'm, I'm going to be in the house for a while. In the house? Yeah. Word. But not, not in the house like I'm typically in the house. I'm going to be convalescing. Convalescing? Well, I got to get my wisdom teeth out of you. How are you going to eat all this stuff? Look at this. You got supersized Twizzlers, mm -hmm. jumbo milk duds. No, well, I'm going to make um, shakes out of it. Shakes? Yeah, you, you put the... Um, Licorice shakes? You do it with any candy. You're going to make a Skittle shake? Skittle's a good shake. Yuck. Have you had your wisdom teeth out? No, I'm keeping my mind, man. That's a scam. What are you talking about? God did not give you extra teeth. Well, well, you know what? And I'm talking as a man who's been scammed many times. How have you been scammed? The whole burn yourself and go to the hospital and get a skin graft scam. I got that one. The whole, do you ever like fall and break your arm and they put it in a cast? I have not. Scam. Really? You don't need to do that. Mm. Nature takes care of itself. You can just walk away from that. Anal wart scam, I fell for that one also. There's a lot of medical scams. People really trust doctors way too much. It sounds to me like music was an important part of your life. Sometimes for fun, I like to go to pawn shops and just hang out front. I wait till a guy walks in with a guitar, and then I say to him, uh, Wow, man, <laughs> I guess it's not about the music anymore, is it? Well, it's all about the cash. I guess you just don't care. Couldn't commit, huh? Couldn't commit. I guess that's art these days. Good luck, buddy. Mm. I don't like jazz, because mm -hmm. jazz is all about making the common man feel dumb. It's not for everybody. You know, you got a bunch of guys up there just playing all their instruments in one. You know, they make you feel like you're stupid if you can't enjoy that. It's just a bunch of noise, for God's sake. Mm -hmm. But here's the worst thing that jazz guys do to make you feel dumb. You know, they're up there playing their interminable solos, just going on and on and on. And then, like, this upright bass player, he'll play a note like this. When, like, you thought he was going to go, but he goes. And then the other guys on stage, they all start laughing. Yeah. And then you're just there like, ah, I don't get the jazz joke. <laughs> I guess I'm dumb. Mm. You're all smarter than me. Why is that note funny, smart jazz people? Because uh -huh. humor is relatable. That's by its definition, I think. Humor is relatable to other people. So you, you can't go to your job the next day and say, oh, last night I saw the funniest jazz player. Um, instead of going, Burr, he went, ha, 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 ha. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, that's a good one, eh? Please don't play with that. Well, I'm not playing with it. I'm just checking if it works. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It works. Does that feel uh, numb yet? Mm-hmm. That inj uh, in injection hurt, but I, I don't feel any numbness yet. Should I get... Um, How about here? Ow. Ow. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Why are you using a nail clipper on me? Sit back. Wait, Doctor, shouldn't you uh, wait until the uh, Novocaine kicks in before we um, we go to the, uh, the table saw? <laughs> Relax, Ben. Uh-huh. Open up. Okay. Wider. Ah, uh, wider. Is that necessary? Ah, no! no! That's it. That's it. No, almost. <sighs> oh, no! Ah! Oh! oh, my God! Don't exert yourself. Don't. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey Ben. Hey Garth. How'd it go? Well, take a look. Take a sweet look at my swollen head. Oh man, you look like you got beat up. Yeah, well I did get beat up. I have never been pulled. <laughs> Tell why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> Just the way you're talking. I'm sorry. Why how guards are my mouth? I know you had. That's not nice. Don't I'm laugh. Not, I don't mean to. I just. Thank you, Laura. We're gonna roll up. Don't do that. That's not funny. You know, I'll tell you something. I didn't expect you to have this reaction. This is not appropriate. Oh, why did you come here then? What did What did he give you for the pain? Painkillers, mm -hmm. which I doubt I'll need. Right. 
And he also gave me antibiotics, which he said, you know, were for to prevent infection. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what, though? I, I'll tell you something. This was an incredibly painful procedure. Mm -hmm. And I must admit, I, I didn't even, never screamed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dr. Zomber said I screamed a little bit, but I don't remember. You know, he's not that reliable a source. Dr. Zomber also said that my body went into total shock, which was not the case. Mm -hmm. You see, all that stuff, I don't remember. I think I went through like a trooper. I think you should go home now, Ben, get some rest. Wait a sec, I have to change these gods if you don't mind. Oh. Uh, I think I'm going to be sick. Oh. Uh, oh. You guys should see the sockets. You can see all the way down to my stomach. Yeah. I think I need another pill. Ben, you had one an hour ago. I can't keep feeding you these pills. I know, the pain is immense. I think it just takes a while for these pills to kick in, and once they do, you'll feel fine. But until then, I'm going to try and distract you by telling you a little story. You know what? I'm not in the mood for st stories right now, to be honest with you, because my head is throbbing. Well, do it for me, then. Everything is throbbing right now, yeah. as a matter of fact. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm going to take you back in time to the day... Yeah, i got to be honest with you. Really, I have the pain is too much. I can't concentrate on you talking. Just give me another pill and, and get out of my sight. What's the magic word? Uh, now. Here. What's going on, Ben? What time is it? Ben, it's, it's four in the morning. What are I you know, doing up? Dad, I can't live anymore. I mean, the life's got to end. What are you talking about, Ben? Your life is so full of hope and joy and... Shh, listen to me. Look at me. Okay. I got this from the kitchen. It's all I could find. It's a nail file. Kill me. Okay, but this is going to take hours. Kill me with it. I mean, just start filing from the nails and keep going until I am just dust. Dad, I'm telling you, the pills don't work because the pain is the same. Mm -hmm. I curse Dr. Zilber and his wicked practice. He's no dentist. He's a monster. He is a monster. I've always said that, but I've always paid him on time. Don't touch me. Okay. And get away from me. Ben, you seem a little, uh... Yeah, I'm, uh, I feel a little better. I mean, I got some sleep, and oh, good. the pain good. has, like, subsided a little bit, although... Well, I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, you don't look well. No, well, first of all, I was, I was up... Let me, before you go on, Dad, I just want to say... Yeah. ...that never in my life, ever, have I experienced pain like that. Ben, I have something I need to tell you, and I feel... Well, Dad, I love you, too. I, no, this has nothing we to do with... We got through it together, and life goes on. You're not, you're not making this easier, Ben. You're not leaving me, are you? You know those painkillers that, that the doctor gave you? Yeah, those things were duds. I was giving you the wrong pills, and I, and I don't know how I could have done it, but you didn't take any. You were taking antibiotics all night. Oh, wait. What are you talking about? The good news is that you were fighting the invasion of, of uh, bacteria. Wait a minute. You, you, the you... bad news is that I gave you no painkillers, no pain medication all night. How could you mistake the pain? You're a doctor. I know, that's why it's doubly How embarrassing. How could you mistake painkillers for antibiotics? It says it right on the label. You know what, because I was so tired and... <sighs> I can't yell at you. I can't, you know, my, my mouth still hurts. So w maybe you should take one of these now at least. So at least... What's that? Let me see the bottle. Why? Right. Take two tablets every four hours to alleviate pain. Well, like, what it's a great so concept. It's so simple. Dad, how could you screw up like this, honestly? I, I, is there some way I could make it up to you, Ben? I would do anything to make it up to you. Well, you know what? What? In a way, I'm not mad at you. Because now I know what it's like to experience inordinate pain. I never would have had that opportunity if it weren't for you, Dad. I mean, thank you. Well, Ben, you're more than welcome. I mean, thank you for the sublime torture. Please don't make it harder than it is. Here's my new theory. Pain brings clarity. Like, for instance, feel this. Ow, Ben! My mother knows a lot about gay men because we grew up in 70s crazy San Francisco. So she would like pick out books for me to like teach me about gay people because she thought I really needed to know. She, yeah. There is a book, this is a book that I found is gay. It's called Ace Master. Well, I'm sorry, what? Ace Master? You know what I know? This is what I know is a, a gay, the gay. They like Ace. They like Ace so much. They don't know what to do. They have an Ace book and Ace movie. Yeah. They, you have to have an Ace. 
in moderation. You know, you cannot have AS all the time mm. because day is not special. Everything in moderation. I have a question for you. All right. And this is a rhetorical question, so don't start to answer it. I don't. Sorry. Here's my question. Hey, all that cool future junk we were supposed to have by now, uh, where is it? I'm talking about wrist TVs and rocket packs and all that. We don't have any of this nonsense. What is the holdup, science? We don't have any of it. We don't have the pill that's a five-course meal. Oh, steak and pudding, delicious. We don't have any of it. I think the problem is they're trying to do too many things at once and nothing's getting done. Just concentrate on one thing so we can have it. Now, I vote for the rocket pack. Huh. Now, here's what's great about the rocket pack. If you had a rocket pack, it would never get old. Mm. If you had a rocket pack, it would be the last thing you thought about before you went to bed at night. Right. And the first thing you thought about when you got up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Your alarm would go off in the future there and you'd see it in the corner. Oh, rocket pack. Oh, another glorious rocket pack day. Oh, thank you, God. Gotta strap it on, rocket pack! You know what, doctor? When I came in here, I was skeptical. And who wouldn't be? Because look at you. Now, Paul, that's not fair. But now, it's all starting to make sense, and I think I'm going to come back once or twice. Well, I, I hope you do come back. I know it's not what you anticipated. It's not easy. Yeah. And it's painful. Y yeah. You know, I mean, we haven't even gotten to the painful part yet. Oh, I'm there. I don't know where you've been, but I am at the painful part. Well, you know what the music means, Paul? Our time is up. Well, why? That seems like, can't you just say time's up? It's too easy. Do you think that helps people to have, like, some crazy jazz piano come in and bling, bang, bong, you know? Yeah. Really? And people seem to like it. Who, piano players? Yeah. Is that how you're going to end next session? Mm-hmm. I see. And, no, and nobody else has a problem with this? strings because everyone I've oh, dad I, you know it's it's gonna be too too fluffy what is love strings about love strings is about a man who teaches college and he becomes infatuated with one of his students oh, dad. that's a chick flick it's not a chick flick then it's a romantic comedy and I don't like that phrase chick flick dad honestly I think I, I would rather go see firepower because it's uh, <sighs> those movies they, they rattle just think me, about man. it firepower yeah firepower well, I'm willing to see this firepower thing, but I don't want to see it on a, on a Tuesday night and because I, I have a hard time falling asleep after I see all that violence. So why don't we go to, we'll see a matinee of firepower Ugh. if you come with me tonight to see Love Strings. Here's the deal, Dad. Mm -hmm. Do what I say. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> we go see my movie. It's a better choice. Um, I know what I'm talking about. I represent the youth of America. You should tap into that. I, I, I feel like seeing a romantic comedy would, would inspire one or both of us to go out and Yeah, and yeah but that's the kind romance. of movie I think you would want to see with, uh, with friends, if you had any. <laughs> oh. So, uh... Oh, oh I, I slipped that in there, didn't I? forgot I? about the popularity contest you won last week, Ben. I'm sorry. Hey, Dad, if hey, did I Did I ever congratulate friends, you on that? Oh, dear. Dad, yeah. how many, honestly, if you wanted to go mm -hmm. to a movie with somebody yeah. that wasn't, uh, that... That was not you? That was not me. Who would it be? Siskel and Ebert. <laughs> no, I mean not. I mean realistically. Siskel. <laughs> <laughs> I love the ladies, you know that? I love the ladies. I l I'll do anything to be with the ladies. I will sit through the English patient, boys on the side, Nell, Carrington, Sister Act 1, Sister Act 2, Hope and Glory, any Merchant Ivory film, Maul Flanders, and a nine-hour director's cut of the unbearable, and I mean the unbearable lightness of being, just to watch the ladies make waffles with the top off, all right? What's Carrington? I'm Patton Oswalt. I'm a, I have an appointment... In, with Dr. Katz, and like, I don't know, like, my appointment's like in 10 minutes, but I just need to use, it's a local call, and all I'm going to do is, I'm just checking my messages on your, using your phone to check. Fine, what's the number? 
You, I can. I'll just dial it if that's. I can. You eat. can't reach. It's unbelievable, Doctor Katz. I yeah. can't even deal with it. Okay, what, I'm like one is, bad. What, I'm one bad relationship. But don't interrupt me. You okay, what, what? I have. Pro this isn't about you. It's about me. I, I have problems. Okay, I am one bad relationship <laughs> away from being with a man. Okay, you're gonna see me in the gay pride parade. I'm here. I'm not queer. But at least somebody pays attention to me. So get over it. All right. What's the code? No, I can't. I, I'd rather. I'm not supposed to give the code out. I can. I'll just enter it and then I'll listen. You can't the, reach the phone from there. No, I'm not saying. If I just. G what do you think I'm gonna do? Call in for your messages? Well, okay. You, you, but don't like. All right. <clears throat> it's S P R. S P R. F L Y. F L Y. Okay. And then, okay, I'll just... No, no, I need to listen to them, though. I need to listen to them. <laughs> no, if I... Uh, <laughs> can, can I... Oh. Uh, right, let me just... So you, you, you feel like you can't separate your real life from, from the movies. Yeah! But that's not such a good thing. What, what, what is your favorite movie of all time? Star Wars. Of, you know, of all time. Why is that? That was my generation's Kennedy assassination. How so? That's where everyone my age remembers where they were when they first saw Star Wars. Well, weren't they all in the theater? You know who I found out almost got the part of uh, Han Solo was uh, Nick Nolte. No kidding. But he lost out to Harrison Ford, and oh man, that, that would have made it such a better movie. Well, different. With that, you know, that gut hanging over his pistol belt, just not really committing to the whole idea of it, just, ah, hail Chewbacca, go fix it, damn hyperdriver. Ah, Jesus. Ah, hail Luke, that's not a space. Ah. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay. You take the popcorn and the drinks and find the seats. But you know what I don't like? What's it? When I walk in from the bathroom. I never know where you are because I can't see in the dark. You know what I'll do? What? I'll have one of the drinks balanced on the top of my head, Ben, because that's the only way I can carry this much stuff to the seats anyway. All right, fine. Whatever happened to uh, teamwork? Whatever happened to a father and son helping each other out? All right, come out of the bathroom with me. I'm not bringing popcorn into the men's room. Why not? Because then you got to share it with everybody. <laughs> You know, you ask a movie critic if the movies are getting better or worse, mm. and the chances are they're going to say, uh, please pass the popcorn. <laughs> they're just like everybody else. They love the snacks. Yeah. Raisinets. That's the best thing about the theater, you think? Goobers and Raisinets. I, they used to try to lump them together, Goobers and Raisinets. Yeah, what was it called? Goobers and Raisinets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I know for a fact that that's not so funny. I know. <laughs> do with this drink then? What's that? Put it right here. Yeah. In the drink holder. Mm -hmm. Save a little bit for later. Those are great, those things. I love these things. That's a real improvement. That's a breakthrough, I think. The only major problem there. You know who invented those? Well, who? Uh, Michael Drinkholder. <laughs> I'm excited about you, this can one, you get though. that away from me? I can't stand the smell of popcorn at this point in my life. Dad, I got it for both of us. I know, but I am so... S we, we, this is our third movie this week, Ben, and... It's a lot of popcorn is what I'm saying, you know. All right, you know what? Well, next time when we uh, see a movie tomorrow night, which we will, yeah. uh, we'll get popcorn without butter. I am going to bring some fresh vegetables with me because I feel like we're slowly killing ourselves eating this crap every night, you know? I think that maybe you're right, Dad. I think they should provide other types of food in the theater. I don't know well, why they don't do that. And especially, it's such a competitive business. You would think that a, that a, um, a theater that served... Uh, Thousands of people... Right. No, no, you finish the thought. <laughs> no, can I, I was finish? Just... Can I finish the idea here? Yeah, you know, you I'm don't saying... have to get snippy. Well, um... I, I just you constantly interrupt me. You know. First of all, I do not constantly interrupt you. Well, second... what I was about to say, yeah, was that I assumed you, know, you were about can't... shut your mouth. <laughs> why do you have to yap? Well, constantly I... yap, so especially. I think, in a... I think we're bothering those people behind us. Yeah. Well, let them look. Well, you've never seen a father and son argue. Shh. I've never been shushed before the movie started. I know, it's embarrassing. 
Were we talking loudly? I'm hungry! <laughs> But, she, but the, the thing is, and don't take this personally, but I need an enemy. I'm always looking for an enemy. My life goes better mm -hmm. when I, not if I have a good relationship or a good girlfriend. It goes better if I have an arch enemy. So what I've done is I've decided to hate you. Right. You're my enemy, and the only way to defeat you is by getting better mentally so I don't have to give you money anymore, and then I win. And <clears throat> how would I win? Like, okay, you know how, like, when we're talking and then you'll, you'll, fig you'll like, make a breakthrough and you go, maybe, don't you think that that stems from this? And I'll go, oh, yeah. But if you could say that with more of a, like, a triumphant sneer, like a maniacal sneer, like, oh, I've discovered, that was very foolish, Mr. Yeah. Oswald. You showed me too many cards. Oh, say that all the time. You showed me one too many cards, Mr. Oswald. I, I can try, but I... I try this. Try this. Ready? I don't do impressions. Just do like this. Advantage cats. Like whenever I, whenever I reveal something about myself, just, advantage cats. Oh. Okay. Just so, try that. Okay, well, say something revealing. Okay. Uh, sometimes I think that I, that, that I sabotage myself to, to try to teach myself not to be inconsistent by sabotaging myself. Advantage cats? No, not... Listen, you, see, now you sound defeated. No, you've got to be like, advantage. <clears throat> you got to lean... F steeple your fingers. You know, like, hope, steeple your little finger. You, like, you're thinking how... You know, this like, whole thing is new to me. You know, aren't there, is, there a way, is there a way to, like, strap me to this couch? Uh, no. Do the, okay, let's try that again. Okay, ready? Uh, I'm afraid of success because of my uh, low self-image. Go. Ah... <sighs> Hi, laddie, you're playing right into my hands. No, not... There's no Irish supervillains. Don't be Irish. You have to be <laughs> just like... Just be evil. Yeah, well, that or Austrian. Okay, I'm just going to make some notes for myself here so that next week when you come in, mm -hmm. I will be up and running, mm -hmm. you know? Now, Laura doesn't need any... She's perfect. No, just she doesn't her... need any prep at all. No, she is ready to go. You know, the, the, the therapists in movies are always portrayed as bad guys, and that I find annoying. Really? Yeah. Name any movie with a therapist in it. I don't know well, any other movies. Killer Therapist. <laughs> um, Night of the Living Therapist. <laughs> the therapist from Hell. One Flew Over the Therapist's Head. <laughs> a young Ian and a gentleman. He came from the planet Freud. <laughs> Do you see who just walked in? What's up? Did you see who just walked in? Oh, my God. Is that Laura? Yeah. With some guy. Well, it does look like a... Kind of looks like a guy. She's probably on a date, Ben. She's, she's probably not on a date. That's probably a relative, a brother or a cousin or an uncle, a really young uncle. Maybe. You might be right. No, I don't think you are because... All right, Dad, you know, that's enough. If, uh... Yeah. You know, if she is on a date, I think we should go over and ruin it. Why would you I mean, I think it's that? our responsibility to, to make sure that that uh, relationship doesn't happen. I think she can handle that. <laughs> Believe me. Yeah, but, you know, we might want to help it along. You want to go over and say hi? I, I'm uncomfortable doing that, you know? Well, I mean... If you want to go do it, go ahead. Go ahead and say hi. Well, you know, I don't think we should s separate if we should both go over and say hi together or not go at all. Okay, then hold my hand. We'll go over there. <laughs> no. You know what? Maybe I'll just throw some popcorn at her head and then that will be that. Okay. Dr. Katz's office. Morning, Laura. Hi, Ben. So, uh, Laura. Laura, Laura. What did you uh, do last night? Go to the movies, perhaps? Yeah. How did you know? Well, I saw you. You know, me and, me and you were at the same theater last night. Ugh. Watching the exact same movie at the exact same time. Wow. Yeah. I was uh, actually five rows behind you. Ben, what do you want? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to, uh, you know, know how your date went. None of your business. Hey, it's cool, baby. You know, I date a lot. I was, uh, I was there on a date myself, actually. With who? Your father? Yes. Yeah, that's great. So, how long have you been going out with this guy? Uh, none of your business? That's cool. I can totally, uh, respect your, uh, privacy. Good, good. Yeah, did you sleep with him?
Dr. Katz's office. Laura, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I got cut off. Did you sleep with him? <laughs> Dr. Katz's office. Laura, I apologize for being so blunt. I, I was out of line, you know? Did you have sex? I'm talking right now. Okay, you want me to calm down? Yeah. Is that what you want? You want me to be real for a few seconds? You want to see if I can do it, right? That would make you feel better. You could walk out of here, give yourself a pat on the back, take Laura out for a little cappuccino, and go, guess what? Sam Brown calmed down today for five seconds. For five seconds, we saw a little window into his soul. Little Sammy was cute little Sammy before all the bad happened, right? Sam, I, 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 you, I can measure the progress that you and I have made over the last few months. Mm-hmm. I still feel like you arrive with so much anger, and so much of it is, I feel, is directed towards me, and... No, don't take it personally. I hate everybody. You're just getting it right now. Well, that's very kind of you to yeah. say that. It's not about you, okay? I just Thanks for turning it back to yourself, no, Mr. Just, Selfish. No, I just wish You that... find a way every single time. I'm sorry, you're right. I, shouldn't, I should not have done that. That was not appropriate. But I just, I wish there was some way you could harness that anger. Nah. Nah. I have bad feelings eh, out with a bad oh. This is good. This is really yeah. good. Yeah. Take it up an octave. Okay. Again, or are you gonna? Uh, I mean, is this gonna be a regular thing? None of your business. Right, right. I know, but I mean, are you? I don't know. Cause he, uh, you know what? To be honest with you, I, I think that's a bad idea. You know. Why is that? Well, I mean, that guy was really good looking. Yeah. And uh, that's gonna end up disappointing you later. I mean, I think you should set your sights lower and then get surprised. Hmm. You know what I mean? Ben, I'm not going to go out with you. You know, it's a coincidence that the, they're playing movies at that theater uh, even this weekend. They run them every day there. Really? Actually, there's an Orphan Wells retrospective this weekend. I don't know if, you, uh, if you're into him. I don't know who he is, but... Did you hear what I just said? What's that? I'm not going to go out with you. Oh, go out with me? Oh, right. But, you know, we could. it wouldn't be a date. Mm, yeah, no, Ben, I don't think so. I'll kick in for your ticket. Oh, Ben. Well, I'm not begging here. You're so pathetic. Sometimes I just want to... I don't know. Well, what? Pinch you. I'll take it. Oh, God. I'm into it. I'm sorry. I like the weird stuff. Oh, hey. Um, you know what? I've got an extra ticket for the ballet tomorrow night. Um... If either of you guys are interested, you want to go? And the world comes to a dead stop. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. No, I'm not saying that I'm, I can't go to the ballet tomorrow night. Okay. I'm just saying until I've done everything else in the world there is to do, mm. I'm not comfortable going to the ballet yet. So it wouldn't mm -hmm. be tomorrow? Tomorrow's not good for me. Well, that's the only offer I'm making right now. Really? Well, mm -hmm. that's the only one I'm turning down. Well, I'd like to know what it is that you guys are doing that tomorrow night that's... If, no, I, if you don't want to go... Julie, you know I would be there for you. For I, I can't go tomorrow. I, I'm going to uh, the other ballet tomorrow. Oh. What other ballet? Uh, hockey. That's not a ballet. You know what? It's a ballet. I, I heard, and you know, maybe this is just a rumor, that, that, that all these ballets are fixed. The control... <laughs> the, John... No, Dude, I have why a, don't you come I have him? a I have a, actually have a date to go to the movies with Ben, you know, because oh. it's a wow. well, it's supposed to get dark tomorrow night. Yeah. And whenever that happens we go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> ben, can I tell you an idea I had for a movie? Um if this is a pitch. Uh, okay, yeah. pretend you're a Holly I, you're you're a Hollywood producer, okay? I walk into your office. Okay. okay. Who are you? D Dr. Katz, I'm here to see uh, uh, Sydney executive head. That's. <laughs> I'm not great with. Why names. does he have to be? Why does he have to be Jewish? Can I pitch an idea to you, Mr. C. Rob? First of all, I'm a professional therapist, so three words or less. Okay, Karate Kid, but with yoga. Good, sold. Well, that was easy. 
What about you play the executive? I'll come in. Okay, okay. Get on your mark, get set, go. What's the idea? It's a story about a father and son. Right. And the father... So far, so good. The father in this movie constantly squishes the son's dreams. Um, and the father is a bad person. He's bald. Mm -hmm. and he's bad. It's called Endless Yapper, and it stars you. Next! <laughs> What has become of us, yeah, Ben? Just shut up and find a movie, This Dad. is not normal, Ben. We shouldn't be going to the movies every night. Yeah, you know? it's perfectly normal, all right? Well, we, we should just go for a walk, get a cup of coffee, sit down and talk. No, oh, yeah, that's real normal, Dad. Why don't we read books instead? Well, maybe because we're Americans? No, we're not going to the movies, Ben. We'll rent. No, we, we have to stop. We have to be strong, Ben. You know, you're right. I, I do prefer the big screen experience anyway. I think it's, uh, I think it's bigger. See... <laughs> We, we, we've lost the art of conversation. What does that mean? <laughs> wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> goo -goo. Uh, loo, loo, loo. See, we haven't lost it. No, I, get, I don't know who I was thinking of. Hey, let's draw a bunch of pictures of a horse mm -hmm. and flip through them really fast so it looks like a, <laughs> looks like a horse is moving. <laughs> that is the most desperate idea I've ever heard in my oh, life. Oh, man. Ben, let's... put the newspaper down. Look at me. You're my son. I love you. Hey, is that from The Godfather? You're doing the, the thing with the... Can't we just talk not Good. about movies? Let's talk about you, Ben. How are you? Do it in Brando's voice. <laughs> Please, just do that. Do, uh, do. I can't. I don't do impressions. <laughs> Uh, that was a good start, though. Uh, <laughs> That's the way Brando started every every line. Uh, Are you gonna be all right, Dad? You've won that round, Doctor Cat. You've won that round. But I'll be back. But no, that's me. I, yeah, that's I what go I mean. out, baby. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, man. See, I can't even. I can't keep track of this. This is too complicated. No, it's so simple. You're the one that make. You're you're adding levels to this. My garage mechanic understood this immediately when I told him you need to be Commander Demon Wrench. He made a cape. He had a mask. He even got he got like a hand puppet. This little goblin hand puppet, and he would he would use that to insult me. Yeah. And he would have the other mechanics in the garage dress as ninjas when I would come in. It was amazing. It was you see, really. But they're, they're trained to do that. But he he went beyond the training. Of course, yeah. they're trained to dress like ninjas. Uh, you know, I. You know what the music means. But okay, look, okay, right there, right there, right there. That music. There's the. We're gonna have to stop. No, that's see right there. That's that's the problem right there. That stinks. The music is so tinkly. It it. I feel like I'm at a uh, Toy Story. You have to. That needs to be like an organ sting, like nee, and then you go. That spells your doom, Oswald. And then I and then I go in your dreams, hair doctor. And then I run out. What do you call me, hair doctor? Hair, no, not not a hair. You're not hair doctor. Oh, I'm sorry. So that needs to be, that right there needs to be like a big one. Yeah, I, I, I know what you're going Run. for, but it's just not the way I work. Your you know? time is ticking. That mm. spells your doom. How that about is... one Mississippi? No, that's no. not a <laughs> So we're not playing hide and seek? No, you're right. You're or right. are we? Ooh, now they, see? See, I think this is just a very elaborate device to avoid talking about you. Also to avoid leaving. You know what you should do? You, 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 um, you got to get that music, and then you got to go, I'm tired of you. Mm. You no longer amuse me.
It's been three days in a row now, Ben, that our paper hasn't been delivered. Do you have any idea what's going on? Well, maybe someone from another apartment got mistaken and took yours. Well, you don't make that kind of mistake three days in a row. I don't know why you're so uptight about it. It's just a paper. I'm not uptight about it. I just, I, I can't really start my, I, it messes the rhythm of my day. If I don't have the metro section, Ben, got the word scramble in it, and it's got the um, the crime report. I love that. You're panicking. But you're think, all nervous. No, I'm not, I'm not panicking. I just like to know. You're like an addict. You're like a news addict. I'm telling you, it's like a, you need your fix. It's awful. It's not a fix, Ben. It's, it's a... Um, well, come to think of it, Dad, you don't ever go without reading the paper in the morning. It's kind of annoying. To who? Well, to me, it's rude. Well, we have precious little time together. I mean, except for the mornings and, and the evenings. And this is a good test. I'm saying you should go longer without the paper and see how you feel. I can do it. I certainly can do it. Dad, you can't handle the media silence. I'm perfectly comfortable with the silence, Ben. That's, that is my profession, I embrace the silence. You do? Yeah. I think you're the one who can't go without the silence. In fact, I will bet you that I can go longer without the, the paper than you can go without talking. Without talking? Yeah. I'm not going to let you make that bet. I've already gone three days without reading the paper. You can't no, no, go no, that 30 doesn't seconds count. without talking. That doesn't count. Because we're making the bet now. We start fresh. This will be the easiest hundred bucks I've ever made. Pretty cocky for a guy who doesn't know what's going on in the world. You're pretty talkative for a guy who's not going to have anything to say in about five seconds. That's right. When do we start? We start right now. No, wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 Just Ben. Just stop. I win. No, 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 you don't win. Bucks, baby. No, because I didn't say goodbye. Bye. Did you start it? I did. You lose. No, Dad, I don't lose. Get on your mark. Get set. Shut up. Good luck, Ben. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. You're not going to catch me. Okay. Hey, Laura. How you doing? Fine. Reading the paper? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember those days. Oh. You see, someone keeps stealing our paper. Oh, I bought this one. No, I, I believe you, but I really miss the news. It's pretty dis disorienting. Not... I'm done with it if, if you want to look at it. Thank you, I can't. Oh. I have a... A bet going with Ben that I can go longer without reading the paper than he can go without talking. So, uh... What kind of a bet is that? Crazy bet. How do you come up with that? Because he was accusing me of being too dependent on the news and the media. Yeah? And I said, shut up. Oh. I'll tell you one thing I'm not going to do is look over your shoulder at the paper. Because unlike my son, I have strength and I have the courage of my conviction. But, you know, if somebody was to read it to me, strictly speaking, I wouldn't be violating the terms of the uh, pact. I don't know, Dr. Katz. Okay, then just one headline, you know, just something, something. Oh, oh you know what? Read me the crime page. <sighs> okay, just one, one item and that's it. Okay. For you. Okay. In a stunning development, mm -hmm. let's see, page A4. Okay, that ought to hold me. Hello! Too loud. Oh, I was just saying hello. Can you just keep it down? Hello! Is that still too loud? No, but it was still annoying. Oh, all right. You're Paul F. Tompkins, right? That's... Yes! You must have seen me somewhere. Well, your name is on the appointment list, and you've been here before. For, oh, all right. That's also good. What does the F stand for? It stands for Francis. Well, when did you start using it in your name? Oh, a uh, long, long time ago. Why? Uh, it just looks classy. To who? To, uh, you know, people who, uh, people who like letters. Oh. F's a good letter. It's one better than E. It's got the two things that jut out. You could pick up meat with it. Look out, F! Are you sleeping all right? I sl oh, I sleep great. I'm very good at it. You take any medication? Well, you know, beer. I mean, if that counts. It's a stimulant, actually, an antidepressant. Yeah, that's what I like about it, because it gets me all crazy, and then I pass out. Yeah. And here's what I like to do. There's there's a, you know, like you can get a, a, a case of beer, but they call it a 24-pack. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't sound like that bad that you drink a case of beer by yourself. Just having a 24-pack. I like to get a 24-pack. You know, I'll just start drinking it by myself with the lights off in my apartment. I listen to the highway, and I pretend I'm by the ocean. That doesn't sound like a good time to be alone Mm -hmm. With a case of beer. A 24-pack. A 24-pack. Yeah. See? Now it sounds like a great time. Hmm. One of my favorite drinks is Guinness. And I like Guinness for two reasons. Number one, it'll knock you on your ass, Jack. And number two, 
Every year at St. Patrick's Day, Guinness has this contest where you can write in, and it's an essay contest. You write an essay, say how much you love Guinness, and then if you win, you win a pub in Ireland. That's your prize. Really? Here's what's great about this. First of all, it gets horrible alcoholics to say what horrible drunks they are in writing. Uh Uh-huh. Like some guy writing on some old stout stained napkin, I love Guinness, and I wish I could take a bath in it, and I wish I could cry tears of real Guinness. That's great. Number two... The grand prize is you win a business that you know nothing about. That's your prize. Right. You don't know anything about running a pub. Now you're in charge of one. Way to go. That's like if the grand prize was you got to build a ship. Hey, you won. Get to work on that ship. Well, I don't think I know anything about building a... Come on, get to work on that ship. You won. I don't think I should really be... Come on, we need that ship. Chop, chop. I... This sums a mistake, I think. Hey, Ben, just because you can't talk, Mm. it doesn't mean you can't use a napkin. You have milk all over your face Mm -hmm. and crumbs all over your shirt. Mm. You know, I cannot believe that this is four days now that the paper is missing. And the crazy thing is I don't even miss it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm kind of enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say, Ben? You agree? Mm -hmm. You know what? I can hold up your end of the conversation easily. Mm. I'll tell you what you like about me. And correct me if I'm wrong. (laughs) You enjoy my company. You enjoy my cooking. You enjoy it. Uh, you give me the finger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess that's allowed under the circumstances. Mm-hmm. Hey, I know I can speak, but right back at you, pal. So in retrospect, it may not have been the best move. First of all, I moved there because I thought it was a healthier place to live, you know? I left New York City, the largest outdoor mental hospital in the country, to move to L.A. to get healthy. Uh-huh. And then I end up here. What a trifecta. New York to L.A. to Dr. Katz. Woo, I could feel the health flowing through my veins. Dr. Katz's office. <sighs> Dr. Katz's office. Mm-hmm. Ben, is that you? Mm-hmm. Ben? Mm-hmm. So I go down to this spa for the weekend, all right? Yeah. You should see this place. It's unbelievable. You get there, every sign in the place is, this is a place about quiet. This is a place about peace. Let go and let God. Relax. 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 You know what? I'll relax when you relax me, okay? I'm paying for you to relax me. So you relax me, all right? (sighs) Mm. What kind is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean... Oh. You mean what? Oh. Ben, you talked. What? You just talked again. Mm-mm. Did too. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Did. You didn't hear nothing. I didn't talk. Oh. Ben. Laura. Shh, shh, shh. Forget it. I'll call you back. Dr. Katz's office. <laughs> I'm in the spa, and I go for their signature treatment, okay? It's called the Watsu, Mm -hmm. which they tell you is some Iroquois word that stands for something I don't even remember, which really stands for we are totally scamming you, okay? Mm. I'm in a mineral pool, and some new age dwarf waddles into the pool to cradle me. They're supposed to cradle you in this pool until you become your inner child again, all right? Right. First of all, I'm all open for the experience. I'm thinking this is going to be great. I'm there with my girlfriend. She's got the good therapist. My therapist is 10 minutes late. All right, so they're already messing with my trust issues. I can't even trust this woman. She waddles into the pool and puts on some breathy, forced, new age, bogus voice. Hello, Sam. I'm Horizon. Are you ready to do the work? Yeah, I'm ready to do the work. I've been here 10 minutes. Now start doing your job, you goof. You new age water buffalo. Cradle me and bring me back to my childhood and heal me. Get it? Dr. Katz's office. Hey, that's pretty good. So she starts with her untrained, pathetic, weaved magic all over me, okay? She can barely even hold me because her arms are so stumpy and short. Yeah. And then she decides that would be a perfect time to gently scrape my forehead against the side of the pool. What the hell are you thinking, lady? Like I needed to know that kind of pain. I wasn't in enough pain. I needed to scrape my face against concrete to get to in touch with all kinds of stuff that I wasn't already in touch with. Thank you very much.
So I go downstairs, I get the paper, and that's how I sort of get in the groove that marks the rhythm of my day. Your groove was off. Yeah. Yeah, but there's other ways to get news. There's the radio and TV. I know, but that's part of the deal is I'm not allowed to, to, to watch the news on TV, oh. listen on the radio. I'm not oh. allowed to read any newspapers. It's a total news oh. blackout. Wow. News blackout. So you've missed... Uh, what have I missed? Oh, there have been some. The uh, Eric Clapton's assassination of Neil Diamond. Oh, my God. Gary Coleman, mm -hmm. a multi-year contract with the Yankees. Oh, uh, I saw that one coming. <laughs> You know, sometimes I get self-conscious about the way I look. I mean, I'm sure everybody does, and I have uh, less reason than most people because, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, even I get self-conscious about the way I look. But then it's all a matter of perspective, see? Because, like, I stop and think about it, and I say, okay, what do I do every day? I eat nothing but fried meat, uh -huh. drink a case of beer, mm -hmm. and smoke half a carton of cigarettes. Mm. Well, then I should look a lot worse, shouldn't I? Huh. Yeah, look at me now. Now I'm not so bad. Right. Now I got a little gleam in my eye, a little hitch in my step. Sure. Who's that handsome man in the suit over there on the couch? That's you, Paul. I eat like a goat. I should be dead. I am baffled by people who are thrown off by daylight savings time. It's just an hour adjustment twice a year. That's all it is. Right. You don't even have to live the hour that gets adjusted. Just fix your clock. Hmm. But still, twice a year you got people... Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm uh, I'm kind of screwed up because of uh, daylight savings time. It's just an hour. That's all it is. Huh. There's nothing to be disoriented by. You didn't get off a plane from Australia, but still twice a year people, uh, what? What? Is this milk still good? Uh, who is the president now? Do I have a great bushy beard? So that's one, three, five, five. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're well, missing one number. I just need that final number. And we'll have that paper out to you as soon as we can. <sighs> mm. One? Mm-mm. Mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm. 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 I... Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Zero? Mm. Zero. Bingo. One three five five zero. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Katz. You have a wonderful day. Hey Ben, how are you, man? Mm -hmm. What do you have there? Ooh, ooh, a new release. I hear it's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Mm. Oof. Ah. Mm. You know I. Oh. Ben, this is reserved, man. Mm. This mm. is. I can't rent you this. Give it to me. <clears throat> ben, what are you doing? <clears throat> are you all right, man? Mm -hmm. You got something in your mouth you want to take out? Mm. What the hell's going on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to play hangman with you. You made a bet with your father that you could take a vow of silence? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, not funny enough to go through all this, but it's funny. Mm. Why would you bet your father? Mm -hmm. Your dad is going to win this bet. Yeah, he will. You see what I mean? I have to call your dad. Mm -hmm. mm. No, you can't say, yeah, he will. Mm -hmm. and then, no, it's too late. It's tarnished. Your mm. vow of silence has been tarnished. <sighs> Come on. Hey Ben, what's going on? <laughs> uh, hey, hey Ben, I'm I'm talking uh, to you, Ben. That's our paper. Mm -hmm. Where did you get the paper, Ben? Was it in the foyer where it's supposed to be? Because mm -hmm. I didn't see it this morning. Mm -hmm. I heard there was something off, but I missed the tail end of it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. I don't really need to know. I'm on a need to know basis. If it doesn't affect me and my <sighs> life, I don't need to know about it. But uh, I'll tell you one thing. This global warming trend. Oh, oh man, I am sweating like a pig. <laughs> Give me the f 
Oh, paper, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> uh -uh. Please, give me that. Give no. me the give paper! No. I need to know! Let it go! Give it me! You lost! No, I think it's a draw. You just lost! No, you talked, I took. You grabbed the paper! I know, but I didn't read it yet. You grabbed it first! I grabbed it, didn't read it. You, you talked. grabbed first, then I said let go. Yeah, who... By so the, you I, looked at no, the paper. No, I took the paper, you talked, then I looked. Did you see a headline? No, oh my god. Yeah. Man takes paper from son. <laughs> wow, that is some snappy reporting. They're quick. Yeah. What a relief. Oh, man. It's great to hear the sound of your voice. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean it. I missed it. Do you know how many mm mm's I did? Did you really keep your end of the bargain? Did you remain silent the entire time? Totally not. Okay. What about you? Did you read the paper at all? A little bit. Little? You know, been on every corner there's a newspaper stand. Mm. It's hard not to see it. Yeah. You know, I'd have to avert my eyes. It's safe to say that I talked more in the last two days than ever. Really? I talked to everybody in the street. I said hello to everybody. So what was it about your vow of silence that was a vow of silence? Well, whenever you were around, I just mumbled. Oh. You've lost every bet I think we've ever made. That's not true. It is true. What's the last one I won? I think, did we do the Indian leg wrestling about a year ago? Was that a bet? I think it was just an accident. Yeah, that was awkward. You know who was great at that was your Aunt Sylvie. Remember we had that bet about duct tape, whether it was made from ducks or not? Yep. And uh, you won. Well, I had an unfair advantage. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Hey, 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 Laura, how you doing today? Fine. That's, you know, those are my significant others in the background there. Oh, right, you have a group session today with your family. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. I really wish you could be in there to share it and see how great they are. Well, I'll be listening in. You won't tell anybody about this, will you? Um, mm, no. I think that we need to de-escalate the anger in this room because in order for us to make headway, we have to sort of talk about things in the abstract. What's the point? Are you two here going to help me or what? Help you? Help you, yeah. Well, I'll tell you about that in a minute. No, I want to know right now. Oh, Sam, you're always so entitled, for Christ's sakes. I'm entitled, yeah, I'm entitled for love. This is like right. that scene in Ordinary People. Great. Yeah, real ordinary people. I love you both so much. Yeah, we're just the most ordinary people on the planet. We should just be a banana republic right now, buying chinos for each other. Well, I think when you become a parent, you know, it's sort of an unspoken contract to display your affection for your offspring. Sam was very, very needy, and I knew that he needed a hug, but he was so weird that I couldn't touch him. I just couldn't touch him. Yeah. Never mind hug him. And I've dealt with that shame and guilt all of my life, and he, unfortunately, is the result of it. Exactly. That's the whole reason I'm in here, because you told me I was a mistake. Sam, th I'm your mother. What's your point? Why are you in here? Do you care about me? Uh... You have to think about it? So you were at one point in your life institutionalized. Uh, I don't, I don't like the word institutionalized, Dr. Katz. I'm not really comfortable with that word, with that term. Mm -hmm. I'd like to call it a home away from the home I never had. And so when you were released, you went to live with your family. Is that right? You get out of the nut house and everybody's afraid, you know? Yeah. They all think you're going to turn into like Charles Manson. Yeah. I got home and my mom was like, Sam, honey, we love you very much. That's why we've redecorated your entire room in Nerf. <laughs> boink, boink. So what I think is going on here is that this is the first opportunity that you've had to talk to each other face to face in a safe environment. Oh, you're brilliant. I mean, you are so good at what you do, it's scary. When's the book coming out? Excuse me for being rude, but we didn't need you to tell us this, Dr. Katz. It's something we've all known from our own therapist, mine of 54 years. I'm 64. Wow, you've been in therapy for 54 years. That's impressive. Yeah, and she, she did help She's me She's in the Guinness Book, Dr. Katz. Right next to the fat bikers. So you don't feel that it's necessary for us to do this again? Yeah, I'm healed now. Really? No, I'm going to go work at a nursing home, and I'm just going to push old people around and tell them funny stories. Oh, good. Oh, Dr. Katz, by the way, check the evening news tonight. Yeah. You'll see an artist's rendering of me lifting my mother's head into a ceiling fan, all right? I love walking around town, especially like uh, New York City, you know, because you walk around town and you see all the hipsters. Yeah. All the alternativos. These people are so cool that they carry their cool alternative pets 
just on their person. Yeah. You see a guy walking around, he's got a crazy iguana up there in his shoulder. Right. A little further on, somebody's got a cuckoo cockatiel just hanging out. Mm hmm And I think these people want some response from you because they've gone to the trouble to put a live exotic animal on them. Yeah. So I think they want you to do something like, uh, 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 pardon me, sir, is that a bird on your shoulder? It is. Well, you must be one fascinating individual. Your personality is not at all manufactured. I say, what if we were to exchange addresses and became pen pals? That way, I could collect your letters in a bound volume entitled, My Correspondence with the Most Interesting Person Alive. Whoops, you know what the music means. So um, I had just left the office, right? And there it was, my dream come true of a chair. Dad, tell me it's a joke. I mean, tell me you haven't turned into the kind of therapist who shops around on trash day looking for stuff. Yeah, it's fun, Ben. You you know you wouldn't believe some of the stuff people throw away. You mean like crap? Well, you you have to see this thing. You have to see it on a curb really to appreciate it. Yeah, I can see why. Which let me let me tell you the story. I'm listening. Well, I'm putting the thing in the car, and about a hundred yards away is one of my patients who sees me moving this thing. Oh really? And uh, so how come they didn't was, help? Well, first of all, it was humiliating, and I'm not sure. Oh, you mean picking up the chair was? Well, I I just didn't want her to see me and that bent over, yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. It was not a flattering view. That's never never is. No. And rummaging through the trash. Yeah, I mean, I'd question yeah. if I saw my therapist out there doing that. Right. That's. I guess. At least you didn't see you doing like all the stuff you you, you do that I see. <laughs> like what? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, going through the trash is that's one of your better qualities. No, na na what, I have no idea what you're talking about. What kind of? Why do you wear one sock to bed? Why do you do that every night? That's, Why is that's it just necessary? an eccentricity of mine? You know. Well, I think if I paid a therapist 150 bucks an hour, I wouldn't want to see him. Rummaging through the yeah, trash. Right. What about 1.30? Maybe you could cut her a break or something. You know, you can't even get this out of the car, Dad. It's too big. You wedged it in the back. What I suggest is we leave it in the car. Yeah. That's what I suggest. Well, that's, that's you know... It's like an extra seat. You're not helping. Well, you got to get it out of the car. I know. That's why, that's why... Here's the 20 bucks for you to take it to the dump. Dad, you can't... Bri 20 bucks. So when I was a little kid, I had to take an IQ test. Did you ever take an IQ test? Uh, and, you know, they don't tell you how you do. No, because they don't want to create a... Uh, but I think I know how, how I did, and it wasn't good, because afterwards the guy, he goes, thank you very much. Here's a yo-yo. Here's a... Don't eat it. Yeah. I'm sick of all these dyslexia people. Oh, oh, what's the matter? Baby mixes baby letters up? Oh, poor baby. Explain that to the man in the iron lung. Oh, baby get a headache when he reads? Oh, what does that say, men or nem? I don't know! Fred, you're too late. I, I missed my appointment. Yes. So it's not a wasted trip. Oh, God. Can I listen in the, at the wall so maybe who's ever in there now, I could learn from their problems? No, Fred, don't do that. Use the intercom. You can hear much better. I hope I don't hear a couple session. I hate when they complain. 
Oh, there's no variety in our marriage. We only have sex three times a month. I wish I had sex three times a month. Oh, you know, they complain. Oh, you, we, the passion, the passion. You, you're there, and you know what I mean? You could talk about a movie you just saw. I don't have a girlfriend. Sometimes I like to pretend I do. I just stand in my apartment screaming, That's not what I said. No, I didn't say that. Easy! Easy! You know what drink I hate? I don't know, Dave. Guess. Come on. See, come on. I, I don't need... No. Eggnog. I hate eggnog. I don't even know how they thought that up. Okay, I want to get a little drunk, but I also want pancakes. Eggnog sucks, and so do you, Dr. Katz. Hey... You're like one big wait. bowl of eggnog. Mm. Is it hard for you to, to, re, to enjoy yourself without the liquor? I don't need to drink to have a good time. I need to drink to stop the voice in my head. And the voice in my head has a stutter. And that is very annoying. Kill your p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-
Those are names you shouldn't be able to get from the name bureau till you're like 45 years old. You get on there with your kid name, they trade it in, they give you your adult name, and you're all set. I mean, there must have been some huge mix-up. There are probably two 55-year-old Jewish guys standing outside the name bureau saying, We're Bobby and Timmy. We can't get our names. My wife was a teacher. Yeah. That's really weird to live with a teacher because your habits change. Like, I used to be on the phone, kind of doodling on a piece of paper. I'd leave the house. I'd come back two hours later. That same piece of paper is now on the refrigerator with the words, Good work! and a big smiley face on it. So she's supportive. I don't know. You know, you... When you're, when you're a parent, you give up your freedom. I mean, you, you, you sleep according to someone else's schedule. You, you eat according to someone else's schedule. It's, it's, it's like being in jail, but you really love the warden. Well, your mom helps out. She's around. She's... My mom has become a little bit more idiotic since we had the children. Mm -hmm. the, the cuter something is, the less you are able to hear my mother speak about it. Like if she sees a cocker spaniel puppy, she says, Lou, that puppy was precious. I mean, one more cute kid, and we'd just be like this mute, walking around our house, gesturing. I'm worried about, about how physically expressive to be with my sons. Now, why is that, Lou? Men have trouble with the physical issues. It's true. Watch the way men express physical intimacy. We can't hug each other, doctor. If we hug, it's weird. We don't just hug and hold. What we do is we hug with one arm, and with the other arm, we pat on the back. That's basically saying, yeah, I'm hugging you, but I'm hitting you. We put on a lot of sunscreen when we go to the beach now for the kids, you know, because mm -hmm. we're always afraid of cancer. Do you use the uh, really strong sunblocks? It's SPF 80. You squeeze the tube and it's just a sweater comes out. Do you have any other tests for me? We can try a word association. Oh, good. Again. Let's try that. Uh, baffle. Oh, my God. A stamp. Oh, Lord. Mother. Jeez, oh, Pete. Pudding. Ugh. I'm not sure you understand how it works. I thought it was the first thing that comes into my head. Well, it's not... Okay, I'll show you the way it should work. Okay. You, you say the words and I'll respond. Water. Fountain. Uh, car. Wash. Doctor. Love. Please. Help. Listen Close. to me, doctor, Lou, please. Lou. Oh, so was it upholstered or what? It was uh, upholstered. That's oh, see, I, I draw the line. I never take anything that's upholstered off the Why street. Is that? Well, because things can hide in there. I looked for cash, is that's what you're talking about. <laughs> cash wouldn't be such a bad thing. Yeah. But yeah. you know, when you think about it, other Julie's people right. sit in their chair, maybe they don't have any clothes on. You just never know. I think about that in hotel rooms. Do you yeah, think that, about that? I think, oh, listen, I can't be the only guy that sits naked on the furniture. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> so this patient is coming back in in a couple of days, and I haven't seen her since the incident. And I'm not really sure how to handle it. You could call her up, tell her you've ended your practice and moved. That's such a cowardly thing to do. Yeah. I like it. I think you're maybe a little overly worried, John, would be fair to say, Stanley. Well, yeah, because this is a, it's a dilemma for me. Yes, that but... It sounds embarrassing You know, you have hell. a couple of dilemmas, you get yourself a crisis. How many dilemmas in a crisis? Three. Wow. Hey, Laura, can I ask you something? <sighs> Dr. Katz, he started crying all by himself this time. I didn't say anything. What? Oh, oh fine. I mean, I, I know... Uh, I want to ask you something else. Uh, what? <clears throat> if you saw somebody you know and respected... Mm hmm ...take from the trash a large chair and stuff it in the back seat of their car... Dr. Katz, yeah. if you like the chair, then keep it. Okay. Katz. Dr. Katz. Yeah. I run into this guy I went to high school with. I haven't seen him in 10 years. And I ask him, you know, so what's been going on, man? What have you been doing? He goes, guess what? I finally got an amp for my bass. Which answers a lot of other questions, like, are you still smoking a lot of pot? Are you living in your mom's basement? Doing that house painting thing? Yeah. All right, doctor, know it all. Let me tell you about this dream I had. Sure. It's this really skinny kid from high school. Mm -hmm. He's like leaning up against a building. Right. And all these big kids from high school are going over to him. And I think they're going to beat him up. But it turns out they just want diet tips. Uh, uh, Can't you figure this out, healer? Well. Thank you, Pawsey. I, Sir Pause no, a lot. I, see, I th think. Doctor, no energy. Let me ask you this. If you could go to the bathroom and candy came out, what kind of candy would it be? Fred, what are you doing here? You don't have an appointment today. 
I would love to get in on Tuesdays. Why are they so hard? I never did a Tuesday. Well, Fred, you have to pay your dues. Can I just sit here and read the magazines? Fred, your appointment's not till tomorrow, so why don't you just take them with you? Take them, take them out of here. That that wouldn't m- make any sense. That's so out of context. Reading a magazine that's supposed to be here and not here. That that wouldn't make sense. That'd be like eating pizza on a roller coaster. It'd, it'd be like shaving on an escalator. It makes no sense. It'd be like listening to music in your car. Doctor Katz, why am I such a cranky baby? Well, I, I... you're a cranky baby. You know that. Well, Doctor Katz, you and I we share like、uh, the bald man thing because、sure. I'm going bald. You know you're going bald when your conversations with your barber keep getting shorter and shorter.、Mm-hmm. You know, I sit down. I'm like, how about those p- next? What? We're done. Well, here's a tip. I can't, boy. That would be stealing. Excuse me. You, you, you're another patient here. Could I ask you something? Could I sit in with you on your session? I, I, I need an appointment. And maybe when, if you pause or if you cough, I could slip in a, a question really quick. And and then I won't even wait for the answer. I'll wait later, but I won't even take the seat. I'll sit on the floor. You can have the couch. I, I'm I'm not here. I'm here, but I'm not here. Doctor Party Panties. Let me tell you this. I went home for the holidays, right? No. And everybody, all the men in my family are bald, and all the women are fat. It's like a Metallica concert going on in my own home. Hmm. You know, you can say like,、uh, can I use your bathroom? You know, nobody really cares. But if you say I have to use the plop plop machine. It always breaks a conversation, right? So you have nieces, you have nephews, siblings, and grandparents. Yeah, I only have one grandpa. We call him Grandpa Alive, but he still beats me at checkers.、Mm-hmm. But I kick his ass at full contact karate. Oh, it's almost a crime. Does Doctor Katz give you sandwiches or anything? Do you get frequent flyer mileage? Okay, I, I didn't think so. I knew he didn't, but I wanted to make sure that you pay to just talk. That's okay as long as that's the deal for everyone. There's no T-shirts or anything. That would be great. You know, being the head writer and editor for Gugu Magazine,、mm-hmm. a magazine by and for babies, with stories like "Grandpa, Give Me Back My Nose" or "It's a Whale of a Tail." Yeah. Am I losing you? No, no,、huh? I'm, no. I'm with you. Tell me. I'm, I'm, well, you know, cats. What is wrong with me? Well. You know that that's、uh, not such a simple. Come on, you blood sucker! How long are you gonna suck off my teat before you cure me? Fix this! Fix this! Hey, Dad. Yes, sir. You got a minute here? I got some problems. Hey, where are you now? Actually, I'm I'm right outside the dump. Yeah. They don't let me in. It's not open to the public anymore. What are you talking about, Ben? It's the city dump. I know, but you have to have a license to dump there in order to. Well, that is that is an obscene law. I mean, apparently you can't throw out stuff anymore. You got to keep it. Yeah. Well, I asked them if I could leave it at the gate, and they'd take it in, but they won't. Will they accept it as a gift? Now, now I can't get rid of it at the dump. I'm just I'm thinking about just leaving it somewhere. You know. Well, that that is what the dump is for. Traditionally, it's a drop-off place for all the.、Things. Not anymore, Dad. They've changed the dump. What is it all digital now, Ben? It's nice.、Yeah. They got a great setup here. Well, don't get attached to any of that stuff. Ugh, I could come here every day. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just you know I'm starting to get fond of the the old thing. It's like a friend. That's what I've been saying to you is that we don't chair, have a、uh, a chair can speak volumes. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah. We're going insane. <laughs> Hey Dad, did you have that、uh, session with the woman who saw you making an ass yes, of yourself? Yes, yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. Well, what happened? Did she?、Uh... Apparently, that was helpful to her to see me. In, see you in, as a, as a such, human being. That's right. To see me as a human being, and and also as a rodent groveling through the trash. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's got to help any patient feel good about themselves. She thought the whole thing was pretty funny. No,、oh, really. Yeah. Well, you know, it just goes to show you, Dad. What? Huh? It just goes to show you what? I don't know. It's just an expression. Sorry. Take it seriously. Sorry. You know, I'm so、uh, literal these days. Yeah. What? I said I'm so literal these days. What's that supposed to mean? How about a truce? How about a, how about we agree to not to listen to each other? You're right. Let's flip、okay. a coin. You go first. All right. No, let's let's choose up for who flips the coin. Odds.、Right. One, two, three. Shoot. Damn, Damn it. it. Laura, 
I know this is kind of weird. Do, do, do you, can you be nicer? Sure. I'm sorry, because it's a little off-putting. Sometimes oh, you're you? I have been treating myself a little bit better. You know, been out for Chinese food a number of times recently. I just love Chinese food. You know why? Because it's immediate gratification, doctor. They get you Chinese food so fast. Yeah. Boy, I mean, you order it and bang, there it is. Even takeout. When I used to live in New York, you'd call, you'd give them the order, you'd hang up, and then bing bong, the door would ring. It was like they had a helicopter and a walk. And they just lowered it to you. I always get the same thing, General Chen's chicken. Actually, that's not always true. I get either General Chen's chicken, General Cho's chicken, or General Chow's chicken. I think that's the highest military honor that can be bestowed upon a Chinese general. I actually have a chicken dish named after you. I'd love to go to, a, to China and attend a joint chiefs of staff's meeting just to hear the introductions. General Chow, meet General Chen. General Chen, I love your chicken. And yours too, my friend. Oh, I, I, I missed my appointment? Yep. That's okay, because I'm an upbeat positive guy. I'm not negative. I don't dwell on things. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. The, the people are attracted to me because I don't mope. I accentuate the positive. I'm, a, I'm like a, someone you like. So you know what I've been doing, Dr. Katz? What? Besides planning your murder, because I'm going to murder you. I watch the Discovery Channel, and you know what I've discovered? No. I need a girlfriend, because it is boring. And the more Discovery Channel you watch, the less chance you ever have of meeting a woman. Because it fills your head full of odd facts that come out at any moment. Like the other day, I'm talking to this girl, right? And all of a sudden, it's like, hello, did you know Hitler was ticklish? The sea otter has four nipples. Did you know these things? Hi, I know everything odd. Ask me how many bones I have in my hand. Don't run away. Yeah. You know, it seems like every date I go on, it always starts out really nice, you know. Oh, what do you do? Mm-hmm, me too. Yes. Uh-huh. And then it always ends with a girl screaming, My eye! <laughs> Dr. Katz, can I ask you, are you an East Coast or a West Coast gangster? Well, actually, uh, I haven't really committed to either one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to it. I, God, I, cats. East Coast? You know, it would be one thing if you, like, talked this way and, like, you said something important. But it's like you, you're you like, uh, uh, shoelaces. What? You know, Dave, we need to set some ground rules in here. Come on, cats, let me in! Cats, let me in! Yeah, we're gonna have to stop now, Dave. Our time is up. Oh, what a jip! Hey, Dad, I'm home. Hey, Ben, I'm in here. I'm in here. Well, that's what separates us, just one room. <laughs> okay. What do you got there? Is that breakfast? Yeah, I got, uh, the supermarket was closed, so I had to go to, uh... Tell me you didn't go to Larry's. Went to Larry's. Ben, we, we... Well, Dad, if the supermarket's closed, I can't... Yeah, but Larry's isn't the place to buy food. Larry's is the place to buy toilet paper or, or, or uh... There's not a big selection there, that's the problem, and, you know, everything's dirty. Well, why don't you heat up some of the Gatorade and we'll... I'll join you for breakfast. I hope you heat it for like 10 minutes, it thickens. I'm gonna make an omelet, you yeah, want one? I think we're out of eggs, man. Oh, I, I got some. I got, there was oh, three left at Larry's. Uh, then we should be out of eggs, because those... You know what I don't like about not... Larry's is that whenever you get a carton of eggs, yeah. some are taken out. People buy eggs individually now. And that is disgusting. Yeah. This it's is... like someone's been in the carton I want to buy. No, actually, you know, you, you can get all kinds of awful infectious diseases from eggs that have gone bad. I know, I love that. Botulism, salmonella. Yeah. What, do you want them fried or scrambled or...? I would boil them and then boil them again, <laughs> you know, just to be safe. So, Dad, I'll, uh, I'll, cook it, I'll cook up breakfast and you, uh, you sit back and relax. You're king for a day. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Come what on. are you doing over there? Come on, baby. Nothing. Okay. Come on, baby. Come to daddy. Oh, yeah. Give... Yes! Yes! Payday! Dad! <laughs> what What's going on, Ben? Dad, look at me. I... I'm happy. Wait, what, what are you happy about? I just won. My scratch ticket paid off. 500 bucks. Let it's... me see that. No, you're... Yeah. Sir, pay a lot. Just paid. My, uh, that's amazing. Yeah. I don't even have good fingernails. That's a but lot. But I won. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. This has never happened before. I've always uh, lost. I've never won. What do you mean you've always lost? You've done this before? What? P played scratch tickets? Yeah. Yeah, I do it once. When, with whose money do you buy scratch tickets? I've sa I saved up from when I was a kid. Ben, is that, are you spending your bar mitzvah money on, on scratch tickets? <laughs> i got to do something with those Israeli bonds. <laughs> you know, the bonds, unlike yourself, matured ten years ago. But, Dad, I, I mean, this is, this is great. I'm a winner, you know? Why are you ruining it? No, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm, well, I, you I look can't, upset, really, I can't is... really say I'm proud of you, but I'm happy for you. Well, I finally did something in my life, and then you just sit there like a lump. No, no. I, I'm a big winner over here, and if you can't deal with that, then fine. Well, this is... you know, it's, it's, it's a mixed bag, uh, winning money, scratching a ticket. Why are you doing this? I, I just don't want you to gamble too much, Ben. It's, it's addictive and dangerous, and, and it can ruin your life. Do you know that I'm constantly treating people for gambling addictions? Really? Is that true? Yes. People have won a lot more money than you, and it ruined their lives. I mean, they they can't stop gambling, and they lose their their job, their families, their self-respect. Yeah. God, that's awful. But, um... 500 bucks, baby! Read them and sleep! I'll tell you, this makes up for all those wasted afternoons trying to figure out the ponies. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Did you say ponies? I said ponies. <laughs> I am originally from uh, Indiana, and I know what you're thinking, Indiana Mafia. Actually... But the fact of the matter is, where I grew up, Dr. Katz, there was something very similar to the Mafia, 4-H. You didn't mess with 4-H unless you want to wake up with a cow head in your bed, that or a basket full of apples. That... I love when people lie about where they're from and say, hey, where are you from? Me? I'm from Chicago. Oh, really? Where in Chicago? Uh, outside Chicago. But where outside Chicago? Milwaukee. It's amazing how mean you can be to your brothers and sisters. You know, I saw my brother Thanksgiving. He pulled me aside. He goes, Jim, I think I got my girlfriend pregnant. And all I could think was, that bastard's got my shirt on. You know, Take it off. Mom said I could wear it. Take it off. You want to tell me why you left your last therapist? Well, I've had, I had two therapists, and, you know, they were both nice guys, I guess, but I, I had this experience where each one of them <sighs> fell asleep during a therapy session with me. Mm -hmm. So I find uh, the idea of therapy a little bit humiliating. Well, were you going on and on about something? I, I, I'm, okay, you know what? I have to go to the bathroom. Can you hang on just a second? Yeah, I... Hold I on. Hope. Uh, Dreyfus session 418. Uh, she, Julia thought I was making a joke at her expense, and uh, I thought I was trying to let her off the hook. Uh, she was right. Hi, I'm back. Hi, thanks. I, I mean, yes. I mean, yes, you are back. Okay. Um... Last week, we were talking about your, your, your older sister. Uh-huh. I feel like we were making some headway, and then you just sort of clammed up. Well, I really didn't have anything more to say about it, you know? Yeah. I mean, unless you want to add something. Oh, I think she's right. I've... Uh, <sighs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. I really don't want to... to uh, but just remind me, you have an older sister... And an older brother. And an older brother. So you are, in fact, the middle child. No, I'm the youngest. The youngest of three. You see, I mean, if you don't... I don't... I, I don't even think you're listening to you. I'm sorry, you know what, I, I just stopped concentrating for one second. And... Well, that's the thing, and the next thing you know, you're going to be yeah. off in dreamland somewhere. No, well, you know, there is something to be said for not being too alert in therapy and just so, sort of allowing your mind to wander. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know flip. what you're talking about. I... <clears throat> Dr. Katz? Hey! Oh, you know what, I was just thinking, I, uh... It's all right, it doesn't matter. Can you hang on a second? I gotta go pee again. Dreyfus session 418. Things aren't going well. Ten minutes in the bathroom to one minute on the phone. Ten to one ratio. Not good. And 
I'm not sure she's really going to the bathroom. You know, you seem particularly agitated today. It's my dry cleaner. Julia, you know, you can't let the dry cleaner dictate the kind of day you're going to have. It's not fair to him. I've lost two of my pants, which is bad because, you know, I don't have very many. I'm pregnant. I mean, how can you lose a pair of maternity pants? <laughs> is that a riddle? Really, I mean it. You know, yeah. they're huge. Right. Um, uh, guess what? I have to go to the bathroom. I was gonna. That was going to be my next guess. Uh, can you hold on? You don't have a phone in the bathroom, do you? Uh, I do, but I don't want to talk to you on the phone in the bathroom. Oh, you don't have to tell me when you're going to the bathroom. You know, you could just say you're you're going to the kitchen. In fact, you you could do the whole session from the. Hello, Laura. Oh, How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ben Katz. Mm-hmm. The new Ben Katz. Yeah. I had a very very good weekend. Great. That, uh, yeah. Great. I had a very good weekend. Good. Very very. How was your weekend? It was great. Oh, mine was better. Mine was better. You know what happened this weekend? What? Saturday morning? What? I won money on a scratch ticket. Really? Can you believe that? That's great. Be yeah, I just I played it and then I won. Wow. It's it was amazing. That's enough to keep you going for a while. Ugh, guess how much I won? $5,000. Um, no. No? Well, not that much. I, it's oh. just, that's, that's a lot of money. $2,000. No, 2000 is really a lot of money, too. That's, that's 500 I won... Oh. Five hundred, not five thousand. Oh, that. <laughs> Which I just scratched that's, three that's times. Great. I won five hundred dollars. It's huge. Yeah. It's five thousand is. I don't know why you said that. That's uh, rude. What if? What if we try it again and well, we can? I'll say how. Guess how much? And you say like five bucks. And so can we do that? What? Uh, note to myself. I gotta redecorate this office. Put a live fish in the fishbowl. You know, that wasn't good enough. Say one buck. Guess how much I won? A dollar. No, five hundred dollars. <laughs> uh huh? You know what? I'm still not happy. Get, say a penny. Do that one time for me, Laura, and then you can go back to doing your stupid filing. Okay, guess how much I won on the scratch ticket. Say a penny. Say a penny. Just say a penny. A penny. No! Five million pennies. No, it's 500,000. 500,000 pennies. Five hundred dollars! That's what I want. It's a lot more than a penny, baby. Note to myself, appreciate the little things in life. Take the time to smell the flowers. I get some flowers. I'm a very lonely man. Note to myself, how are you? Who's your favorite professional therapist? You are your bad, bad Dr. Katz. Hello? Yeah. You know, I feel like I'm not likable, you know. There's, the, there's these old guys in my neighborhood that just stand on the sidewalk and... They'll say hi to my girlfriend, but they just ignore me. They'll be like, hi, sweetheart. And I'll be like, hey, how are you? They'll be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are people, like, in movies, whenever they're thinking, they're always chewing on the end of their glasses, you know, saying, hey, if we give the alien a cold, you know? You know what they're really thinking? This tastes like wax. Dr. Katz's office. Hey, Laura. Hi. How's it going? Fine. Yeah, I thought so. I'm still riding that high, I gotta be honest with you. It's like I remember that last scratch. Like it was yesterday. There was no better feeling than seeing that number nine come up underneath my dirty little fat finger. Do you know what I did when I won? What? Nothing, I was cool. 
I didn't react. I didn't go, whoa! I'm not an idiot. It's not like the first time great things have happened to me. You it's know? not? Great things happen to me all the time. I'm cool about it. Hmm. I don't need to be all, you know, stupid. You know what I mean? 500 bucks! I'm anti-pita bread. Well, were, you, were your parents anti-pita bread? Well, pita bread has this connotation of, like, being so healthy, you know? You're like, oh, it's in pita, it's okay, you know? You know take a piece of cheese, bad for you, put it in a piece of pita, it's okay. I don't understand, like, when I go out to dinner, how, like, bread and butter is suddenly such a delicacy I desire. Bread and butter, stale crackers, ice water, we gotta have this at home. Nom, 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 nom. So I'm thinking I was gonna do something a little more special with the money. Oh, really? Yeah. Like what? Well, I'm thinking about taking, uh... Mm -hmm. Well, I'm taking the closest people in my life, I think, right now. As we speak, the closest people out for a nice dinner. A nice $500 oh. dinner. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. And the closest people in, in my life right now are, are, uh, are my dad, of course. Uh-huh. And you. Me? Yeah, you. As oh, a matter that's fact, so sad. You ever stay in a hotel room? You feel like you can do anything in that room, don't you? Yeah. I always blow my nose in the comforter. You know? They give you two beds. I feel like I should use one of them for something, you know? Yo, where, where do you usually stay, Jim? Laura, you, me, my dad, in a five-star restaurant. I mean, what, what more could you ask for? That's fantastic. You're going to love that. Mm. Let me repeat it for you. You, me, my dad, five-star restaurant. I didn't say four. I said mm. five. All right? Bring right. your AAA card. Because you get 10% off. Do you have one? Yeah. Okay, good. Bring it. Do you like, do you like French food? Uh, I, I don't know. You don't know? Do you know what French food is? No. It's like American food, but glazed. Huh. You like the heavy cream sauces, don't you? I guess so. I'm going to get you a side order of cream sauce. I don't even care. You know what they said? There's like, they'll say, that's $5, sir. I'll say, add it on. Bring two. You know mm. what I'm going to do, Laura? What? You're going to get your food, and I'm going to send it right back. Why? Say, take it back. Why? Because I don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. Get another one. Why my food? I don't know, because I'm going to eat mine. Maybe what you need is a vacation, Jim. Well, I don't know. I don't like going on vacation, because then you feel like you have to see everything. Yeah. You feel like you have to write everyone a postcard, you know. Well, you, you could be like a genius. You try and write a postcard, you look like a moron. This city's got big buildings. I like food. Bye. Well, you don't have to write that postcard. Recently, I got a postcard of the manatee. The mo manatee on there, the sea cow. You ever seen that animal? Yes. Yes, I have. It's called the sea cow. That sounds like an insult to me. It's almost like it was introduced to the ocean. The other animals were like, who are you? And the manatee's like, you can call me the manatee. And the other animals were like, yeah, right, sea cow. Call me manatee. Sea cow. Manatee, manatee, please. The manatee kind of looks like a guest on the Ricky Lake show, doesn't it? Ricky, I can't get laid. And then somebody in the audience would offer up the advice. Yeah, I'm going to say something to the sea pig. Oh, that's sea cow. Whatever. You didn't get all that because you're a fat ceiling shit. I don't think I'm anything. Yeah, we, what you got to do is get yourself an education and a job. I live in the ocean. You live in the ocean because you ain't got no job. I don't know what you're talking about. You're fat. You got to get Weight Watchers. I have a layer of blubber to keep me warm in the water. Whatever, talk to my hand. I just think it's so sweet of him. Yeah. You know, it's so rare that he makes a gesture like this. That he makes a gesture. And he's, he's talking about a five-star restaurant, you know that? Yeah. I went to a four-star once, but there was, a, there was an eclipse, so it seemed more like a two-star. Yeah, yeah, okay, Dr. Katz. I went to a, I went to a one-star restaurant four times in one week. Mm. I have to tell you, Laura, this would be this would really pick up Ben's spirits. Uh, they've been they've been really down for the past eight, twelve years. I think what you want to say to me, I'm not all right, I'm not all right. Oh, hi, Mrs. Danny. Uh, hi, Joe. Uh, uh, zazu, zazu, zazu. Zazu. Anyway, so he, he wants to use this his winnings to take us to dinner. Great. Oh, really? Excellent. Yeah. Uh, well, I'd love wait. a Chateaubriand. <laughs> He's paying. No, but his, his version of us is me and um, Laura and him. Oh. So oh. I'm sorry if I misled you there. Oh. How about a hamburger? Okay. <laughs> I'm starved. <laughs> Thank you.
God, this is so... Is this great or what? Elegant, this yeah. place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, this is actually a table for four, but yeah. um, I arranged it so that the three of us could sit here. That's yeah. great. That's what you oh, get for putting in a reservation. Yeah. And so is this, is this nice enough uh, for you? Or, I mean, is this... Laura? It's almost too nice for... It's very nice. Yeah. You it's, gotta keep it down, Laura, because oh. this is... A classy joint. It's not some. It's nice to see you, Laura. Pit. And this lighting, you look so beautiful. You forgive me for yeah. saying so. I know that's. Uh, did you want to be alone, or is it? No, I just. I'm not used to seeing her. In, uh... I'm buying here, so everybody talk to me. Okay. Remember they served you a bowl of wonton soup and there was a human tooth in it. That's right. And the waiter took it back and and everything was on the house. Yeah. And then we went out the next night. And you put a, a dime in your baked potato. Yep. And the waiter brought you another baked potato, kept your dime. Remember that? Uh, yes, I do. What's my point? I'm not going to pull that kind of stuff anymore. That's all. Ow, my tooth. <laughs> you okay? It was a drama, an hour drama on weekly television called The Millionaire. The premise of the show was every week, yeah. this uh, very wealthy guy would give a million dollars to another person. Yeah. Right, and they just followed the effects that that money had on his life. That was the premise. And, and it's so narcissistic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big word for an expensive restaurant. Whoa. It's just the way you guys talk all day, every day. <laughs> no, this is the longest conversation we've ever had. Am I right, Laura? Mm -hmm. And it's not going well. <laughs> not really. No, I, I thought this would go better, you know, because I'm treating. Where's the wine? Yeah. Can I remind everybody that I'm paying for this baby? Yeah. So uh, I'm starting uh, to sweat. Yeah. yeah. Hey, there's our waiter. Do you want to? Uh, I'm gonna uh, order. Okay. You know, because I don't see why we should waste time. Let's get out of here no. quick. You, you Man, know, I, I mean, to, uh, Laura, if it was up to you, just people would be washing their hands constantly. <laughs> oh, but washing your hands doesn't help. There's still gonna be fecal matter. Yeah, this is a five-star restaurant. I think they clean the fecal matter. There you go. She's right about that. They can't uh, even no. see it. Yeah. It's only trace amounts. Yeah. yeah. What a great date you are, Laura. <laughs> I mean, I love to keep continually talking about fecal matter while I'm eating. What is, is there any way you can fire her right now? <laughs> Laura, look. Look. Woo! <laughs> look at that. Mm. Hey, you two better lay off the wine and eat your dinner. I mean, people, people are starting to stare. Oh, and Dr. Katz, why are you such a fuddy duddy? <laughs> you little fuddy duddy daddy. <laughs> Loosen uh, up. I am loose. You, know, you, you two don't know that I took my pants off 20 minutes ago. What? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm having, I'm having a good time. Don't worry about me. Let me be honest with you for two seconds, Dad. You have always bothered me. <laughs> I'm glad we got this out in the open. Come here, you. Yeah. Bow! Bow! <laughs> You're gonna get there. No, for actually over here, <sighs> sir. If you don't mind. I'm taking care of this. Oh, my God. What's that? Well, this is a little... Uh, over five hundred dollars. The what? wine was a little pricey. I had no idea it was going to be three hundred fifty dollars a bottle. Yeah. Apparently the reds are expensive. Okay, I'm just going to move out of here very slowly. Okay. <laughs> now just just act naturally. I'm just going to slip out the door. Okay, and I'm going to warm up the car. All right, I'll follow you, Laura. You pretend okay. to choke, and I'll pretend to have a heart attack. Dad, pretend <laughs> you you have diabetes. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to put the rest on my credit card? Well, you know that's not necessary. Oh, well, yeah, I guess it is. I <laughs> You know, I, I, uh, you know, I'd like to say to you I don't mind. You know what, why don't we just split it now? I mean, because I can't pay for it myself, so I feel yeah. uncomfortable, and Laura, why don't you kick in 350?